What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, what I want to get right across to you guys. First, I want to tell you guys my approach, how I do intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? Some misconceptions about intermittent fasting and some benefits about it. So I want to start off to tell you guys what intermittent fasting is. Intermittent fasting is not for everyone, okay? Just keep in mind, and it's not some magic that's just gonna melt the fat right off of you. Intermittent fasting is basically skipping breakfast, and you're probably thinking, dude, skipping breakfast? Like, hey, that's the most important meal of the day, I can't do that, you know? Um, you're not gonna be completely skip breakfast, you're just gonna push breakfast to a much later time throughout the day. So, what I mean by time frames, is a huge popular time frame people have out there is fasting for about 16 hours in the day and then they eat for about eight hours in the day and uh, that's just the most popular one people do and yes your sleep is gonna be a huge factor in this because you're sleeping for a solid seven to nine hours of the day so that knocks out a huge time already out of your 16 hour you know like fast fasting uh, time frame so you could adjust your time frames according to however you feel so if you want to have much larger meals throughout the day you could shorten it but if you want to I don't know if you want to start eating a little earlier you could always adjust it to a to whatever you feel I personally start eating around 2 p.m. I stop eating around 8 p.m. so I, I do a six hour time frame huge misconception that was just out there is people used to think that you had to have a meal inside of you for every two hours your body had to be fueled with nutrients every two hours or else it's not gonna function properly well it's scientifically proven now that that's not the case so if whatever you're trying to do, if you're trying to build muscle, gain gain weight, uh, lose fat, whatever you're trying to do, it all comes down to the daily caloric and macronutrient intake. So if you're going to be intaking all these, all your calories while you're, whatever your goal you're trying to do in a much shorter amount of time, it's going to be the exact same results as if you were going to do it sporadically throughout the day. Intermittent fasting, personally, I have noticed a much more mental, like, clarity when I wake up in the morning I'm ready to go uh, I'm not thinking about food because when I when I'm thinking about food I'll eat something and personally I'll be like you know what that wasn't really satisfying I want to have a snack or something so my snack it leads to me having a snack and then it kind of leads to me being a little lazy and then kind of sleepy again and then I, I eventually like take a nap so it kind of it kind of like makes you go downhill as opposed to when I wake up, I'm kind of dead set focused on what I have to do. It leads me to be more productive throughout the day. The second benefit that I have is going to be intermittent fa fasting allows me to be in a caloric deficit without feeling like I'm in a caloric deficit. And what I mean by that is it allows me to have much larger meals. It allows me to incorporate much more enjoyable foods throughout the day. That's what you guys see in my videos. You guys see me eating like pizza and like burgers and stuff because I could incorporate that into my diet because I could have much less all the same amount of calories in a much a much shorter amount of time as opposed to having my meals spaced out throughout the day in a much smaller portions and much less enjoyable foods. And I really do not, I, I'm personally not a fan of that. A lot of people's thoughts are gonna be like, I cannot do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, is, is, I'm gonna be starving, I'm not eating, you know? And that's not, that's not the case, guys. Intermittent fasting, what you're gonna wanna do to suppress your hunger, as soon as you wake up, your body is kind of dehydrated. That feeling you get of hunger in the morning is you're actually your body is telling you that you're dehydrated, that it needs water. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do in the morning, you do not need food. You can just get that across right now. You could just drink a gallon, half a gallon, whatever you prefer, and it's gonna suppress your hunger for a good amount of time. And just keep drinking water throughout the day, and it'll just keep suppressing. But eventually, you're gonna get to this point where water is not doing the thing, and that's where caffeine comes into play, guys. Caffeine, it's gonna suppress your appetite to further, and you're not gonna feel that hungry feeling until later on throughout the day when you could actually have your food. And uh, a lot of caffeine, I that you could uh, rely on is black coffee. It has a lot of health benefits to it. Also, um, I usually drink a Monster later on throughout the day or uh, like any kind of energy drink. And But in the morning when I wake up, I take a caffeine pill and that, that's another source of uh, caffeine that you can take. You're not gonna be starving. 
that's what I want to get across to you guys. There's, that's not what's going to be happening, guys. Whenever you're doing this lifestyle, whenever you're trying to uh, diet or whenever you're trying to reach a goal of building muscle, losing fat, whatever it is, why not try to figure out the most enjoyable parts of it and try to keep everything as enjoyable as possible. That way it can be a much sustainable phase in your life, you know what I mean? Because if you're absolutely hating each and every day, you know, you're not going to be able to be able to live this lifestyle. And that's why intermittent fasting is another great way, another great tool to explore because you never know if it might be for you. That's why I'm saying it's not for everyone. Be sure to give it a shot if you guys are really, really interested in it. Anyway, I, that's all for today, guys. And um, if you guys enjoyed the video or found it any way informative, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. How could it all make sense when I got millions on